Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I have got three fun favorites um, that I have really fallen in love with and feel like the world needs to know about. Um, things that I have been, that I found in February, but also that some things that I have been using for a really, really long time and have just realized their value and potential this past month. So the first thing is if you saw my makes video, then you know that I am making a trench coat and I am adding piping detail to the collar, to the center front, to the pockets, to the cuffs on the, what are they called? Sleeve bands. Um, adding piping to a lot of it and I thought based on some other like simpler projects that I had piped that I had the appropriate sewing machine feet um, and then I realized through this project that I don't. Um, I decided to give a go these uh, piping feet. They're specifically for piping. They come in different sizes for the particular size of piping cording that you're using. Um, there's a one eighth, a one quarter and a half or in a one half, but it's like the one quarter, it's really called four and 32 seconds. <laughs> I am so good at math and fractions. Um, anyways, you know what I mean? Like, you know how, how piping and cording is measured differently, even though four and 32 seconds is the same as one eighth. They call it that. Does anybody know why? I, I, obviously it's not that confusing, but it's just kind of hard to explain. Um, anyway, so it comes in different sizes and there's like actual, like a little groove in the back, in the bottom of the feet. And just to the side of that groove is a hole where your needle goes. So it's a pretty straightforward design for the foot. But I'm telling you, it makes such a difference to have the cording feed through, just fit perfectly in this little groove, and then have that needle come down right next to it. You cannot achieve good looking cording any other way. Any of those other tricks that you have seen um, using a zipper foot or, you know, moving your needle one way, no. None of that works as well as this. Can you get by doing those other things? a hundred percent but these were i want to say fifteen dollars maybe on amazon i'll have a link in the description box below and to me it i couldn't have done the, i couldn't have finished the project much less been able to get such beautiful um finishings on it do you want to see if you haven't um if you haven't seen my makes video then you don't know what i'm talking about but just look at the collar just look at the piping on that collar and how I was get it, how I was able to get it so perfectly done and even, even around a curve, which is super, super hard to do um, with the help of these piping feet. So I know that the, the whole sewing machine foot thing can be a little bit excessive. I feel like there's a foot for everything, um, but I'm realizing that most of the time it's for a reason and because they actually really do help. So I'm trying to keep my foot purchases to a minimum, but I do feel like this one really, really, really helped a lot. So I wanted to just put that out there and let y'all know if y'all are wanting to pipe anything, whether it's pillows or garments or outerwear or whatever, um, I really do feel like these feet really do help. So that is favorite number one. Favorite number two is something that I bought two or three years ago, at least, maybe even longer. And it is this assorted invisible zipper pack from Waywack. Um, I bought the 24 inch assorted color invisible zipper pack. I can't remember, oh, 25 of them originally came in here. And I'm down to five. Um, I did not realize how valuable this was. I can't tell you, I mean, other than like going to Joanne and buying fabric 
specifically for something and then like just moseying on over to the zipper section um and and matching a zipper specifically to that um I can't tell you the last time that I've needed to buy zippers and now that I'm down to like well the pink one actually I bought and it didn't even work um because it wasn't long enough so this one wasn't even in the pack so I'm down to purple I'm down to this royal blue this teal and two browns a light brown and a dark brown and that is it um I have been reaching for this bag of zippers for years and finding some zippers that match perfectly and then finding myself kind of loving picking like a contrast zipper like on this dress here that's this bubblegum pink the zipper is like a really pretty light aqua do y'all want to see here i can show you um so i put in this pretty blue zipper because i mean why not right i just feel like it's kind of cute and fun and the dress itself was you know a plain solid and so i said you know what i could have a little bit of fun with the zipper and i have been doing that all along um thanks to just necessity like i just am like well, what color do i have okay well this one looks pretty good so i would just stick that in so i feel like this is a really good value you know waywack has you know really good pricing and stuff like this i'm going to repurchase this and anytime i repurchase something i feel like you all should know about it so link in the description box to find this i'll be buying it again myself um it's awesome okay and the third thing that i have <laughs> does not look like much um it certainly doesn't look like something that's a so as we were mentioning in their favorites video but it is this sheet of octagonal one two three four five oh it has six sides mm, you lost me i don't know what would that even be mm -mm. i'm not even going to try and embarrass myself anyways these little cute little shaped <laughs> tiles um these are marble tiles they come on a sheet that looks like this and you're probably wondering what in heaven's name are you using that for in sewing well friends let me tell you i have peeled off um, about a dozen of them so they look like this and these are my new favorite pattern weights um they are i don't know how heavy they are not super substantial but they're heavy enough to hold the pattern paper in place well enough for me to cut around it um and i just feel like the little marble is really pretty and they also come in like these ones have like ridges on it so they're kind of like interesting um but they're just pretty and they are also very functional i love the shape of them because you can put them in corners but not have it kind of get in the way of a corner if that makes sense um and they're small enough that you can place many of them around and they're not too like obtrusive um so as you can tell they come on a sheet like this this entire sheet was like eight or maybe twelve dollars at most um and it's just a little bit of work to peel them off and and then use goo gone to get that adhesive off the back if you want um you might want something a little grippy and toothy on the back to um put on your pattern i've never done it that way so i don't know if it would rip or anything um i just opted to take the glue off of all of them um but you can find these easily in any tile department of a lowe's or a home depot or any home store um i don't know what you guys have like in england or canada or australia but you know any home improvement store you can find these sheets like this um and gosh so i have 12 here and then there's another I don't know 20 or so so you get like a ton of little pattern weights for next to nothing um so yeah so i just wanted to kind of show you guys that and help you maybe see outside the box a little bit in some of the areas of your sewing room and these as pattern weights is definitely one of those i have considered doing a 
you know, set the so it's loose in a home improvement store type of thing because I know that there are other gems, other hidden things in a home improvement store that we can use. I remember posting on my Instagram a year or so ago about the cording and piping that they sell at a home improvement store and how you can use like um tarps for muslins and different things like that so um i'm still toying with some ideas of, of how i could put that together but if you use the home improvement store for any of your sewing notions or you know, things that help you in your sewing room. Let me know some of the ideas that you have um, and I will feature you in that video if I ever get it together. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, so yeah, that one was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so those are all the things that I have been loving um, in February. Um, and I feel like I might not have done a favorite video, a favorites video for January. So this is kind of like a, a twofer, um, if you'll let me get away with that. <laughs> um, so um, let me know if there is anything that you've discovered this year that you really love or something that you love that you've never seen me mention on a favorites video before. Um, I probably just don't know it exists. And if you think other people need to know and you don't have an outlet to share it yourself, tell me and I will be the voice. I will be your voice to the masses. Um, so yeah, let me know what you're loving um, recently and I'll check it out if I don't know of it already. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my very next video. Bye.